There's a place called the Pyramid. Te Tara Koikoya. Off the Chatham Islands. This one rock, basically, is the only place in the world where this exceptionally beautiful, extremely rare bird breeds. The entire global population of 5,000 something pairs returns to only this one place to nest. All your eggs in one basket, literally, that are at risk for a whole range of things. And one of the biggest threats in the Chathams here is, yeah, impacts of climate change. If you are seeing mortality at a rate of, say, 10% a year, then a decade or two, you're talking about an extinction. the risks were simply getting too high. So their goal was to create a new colony of Chatham albatrosses on the main island of the Chathams. And that sounds easy, but this is some of the most impressive and incredible conservation work I've ever had the privilege to witness. There's only perhaps three or four days a year where the sea conditions are good enough for you to actually land on that island. A lot of adrenaline going there, sheesh. <laughs> Boy, you didn't get the ones up there. <laughs> they will vomit exorcist style onto any person that tries to grab them. But heat is the number one danger. So once you put the first albatross chicks in one of those boxes, the clock begins to tick. So once the birds are off the pyramid and they're on the boat, um, the journey really begins. They are landed um, at a river mouth that is quite close to the new colony. We, we bring the tracks here and put them on their, their new nest. Every day we, we, we go down and, and feed them and, and give them water. We'll have a sound system that plays calls. We have decoys that we'll put out to try and mimic a colony. You can't take the chicks when they're too young because they can't survive without their parents. But if you take them at the right age and let them complete their fledging process, they will leave. But they will have imprinted that location in their minds. When it's time for them to breed, they will go back to where they themselves fledged. You let this play out over a decade or two, and suddenly you have a new breeding colony. So we would not have seen even the first year's translocated chicks returning yet because they're still not quite old enough to breed, but that should be happening any year now. It's sort of just waiting really for the birds to come back. The seabird crisis is probably one of the most pressing conservation concerns of our time. We've lost in the region of 70% of the global seabird population in the last 60 years. You know, hundreds of thousands of auks and cormorants die every year drowned in gillnets. Our fisheries are literally taking fish out of the seabird's beaks. You know, we've had introductions of invasive mice and cats and rats that wreak havoc with, with, with seabird eggs and with the chicks. This is an enormous crisis that's going on almost completely invisible to everyone in the world because seabirds are, by their very nature, not around where we are. The Chatham Islands and the Pyramid and this albatross for me are a symbol of hope that even though you know, seabirds globally are in dire straits, we mustn't give up. And there are ways to turn things around. <laughs>